Yo, what's going on, everybody, man? It's your boy Marcus Elbow from ElbowMediaStudios.com. Welcome to the Elbow Media Studios YouTube channel. And if this is your first time, where you been? Elbow Media Studio. Yo, 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 check this out, man. Yo, listen, man. If y'all do not follow my man Pink Buddha over at Pink Buddha Academy, I'm going to leave a uh, link for his YouTube channel in the description. This is another four shoes of man. I love this dude. He definitely, definitely got mad talent and a lot of great information. So I'm going through my YouTube and I'm, I'm just, you know, I don't know. I'm just watching YouTube channels and I follow Pink. So his stuff popped up and he showed me a feature in the 3.2 update that I just don't know how the hell. I missed this. So this is my second favorite feature inside of the new 3.2 update for the Akai Force, man. Let's take a look at it real quick. This is going to be the ability to move stuff around inside of the menu. Again, I don't know how I did not see this, but this is crazy dope. Let's take a look at it real quick. So I'm just going to hit the menu button. And over to the left here, as you can see, they, there's some menu options that you could, you know, actually do over here. But you could actually, before we even do that, you can actually move stuff around. All you have to do is just touch on it, move it into a place, and it'll swap with the place that you're actually trying to move it right this is crazy dope right I, I already thought that was cool if they would have just had that i would have been like all right that's dope you know what i mean you can put some stuff like i could prioritize if i wanted to i can go up here and put my sampler like some of the stuff that i know that i use a lot like my sampler up there uh my mixer there uh what else uh sample edit or track edit I, i'll go sample edit here and th these are just some things that i know that i'm going to use i can keep them at the top but let, let's just take it one step further I know that I'm going to use my sampler, right? Because I love the sample. So I'm just going to put that right there, right? Then I know that I'm going to use the arranger. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the arranger and I'm going to put that right there. I think I could take this navigate out. Yep. I can take the pad mixer out, right? And then I can just go ahead and slap my mixer in there. Boom. All right. And then if I wanted to, I could put browse, but I already know that I'm not going to do that. I know I got the clip deal here. So uh, what else would I like to put there? Oh, sample edit. So I'll just slap my sample. Edit. Those are my top four that I know I'm going to use. And to be honest, I'm just going to swap this one at the bottom there. So I know I use the sampler, the mixer, sample edit in there. So right, if I go take go back to my matrix and I'm sitting here and I want to get to anything, all I got to do is swipe from the left over and then there go those quick options that I can just jump around and go to my sample edit if I wanted to, go to my mixer if I wanted to. Even though I can push the mixer button there, I know I can do that. I got my sample edit here. Listen, man, that's my second favorite function or feature or whatever the hell you want to call it. You know what I mean? Because that's just mad dope. And I kept the matrix at the top. So, yeah, that is crazy. Now, if you didn't know, I talked about this in, in a previous tutorial. You can swipe from the top down and you can get to a couple of functions here. You can get to some automation, some loop functions, some uh, time signatures and stuff like that. You can also see your computer usage, memory usage, things like that. Uh, also, MIDI learn and some things like that. So that's pretty dope as well. But yeah, man, hey, I want to give big up to that boy, uh, Pink Buddha again. Y'all go check him out. I just had to come in here and really holler at y'all real quick. And this is truly a quick video. You know what I mean? Let's play this be real quick before I get up out of here. Yeah. I know y'all gonna use that. Stop playing. You know what I mean? Let's swipe over and do it right now. Uh-oh, see? Ugh, that might be a problem. <laughs> so, if I swipe over and I go to Mixer, which I'm gonna always push the Mixer because I'm just used to that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yo, love that function, man. Love that function. You know what I'm saying? Listen, man, I just want to let y'all know I appreciate y'all coming by and checking out the channel. I know this was a quick one. Uh, we got some more videos coming out, like I said before. Make sure you go over to ElbowMediaStudios.com If you're looking for anything That's got anything to do with what we do here We got sample packs over there uh, We also have access to the Beat League So you can go through the Beat League We also sell gear over there As you can see this is one of our shirts here So if you want to support the channel you can do that Also we got Patreon So if you want to go join the Patreon That's going to be in the description as well you Get free stuff over there for instance Like uh, sound packs And you get the free uh, sound pack we have for the Force exclusively So go check that out 
as well, man. So become a member and go ahead and support, man. But yeah, that's my new feature right there, man. I love it, all right? All right, I'm going to catch y'all in the next video, man. Y'all stay cool, stay 100. Keep creating, keep making beats, man. I'll holler at y'all in a minute. Yeah.